Right, hey everyone, this is Miss Time Bunny doing a bit of an impromptu video. I am currently walking through what I believe used to be like an old scrapyard. Uh, not 100% sure if I'm meant to be on this land, but you know, there was like, let's just say there was a way in due to sort of like bad maintenance. So I'm having a quick cheeky walk around. So yeah, join me, why don't you? And I'm sorry if the audio isn't great. I, as I said, this was impromptu and I haven't got my headset. So I do apologize if sound is a bit shit. All right, this is just a quick overview. That's a Mountbatten center over there. And we've got a big, I don't know if this is a deliberately dug out area or if this was something that they sort of like they dug out and then just happened to fill with water because of rain or whatever else. So yeah, this is a quick overview. strange walking around here knowing that once upon a time this was essentially just like a massive scrap yard and if I d if I remember right I think there used to be sort of somewhere over roughly in that direction there was two massive decommissioned submarines and I think one of them ended up going to a museum I want to say in Germany I know it was somewhere Europe because I think it turned out it was like a model of submarine that there wasn't many that still existed in like sort of like near enough pristine condition as it works I think a lot were destroyed or dismantled over time and one of the two that we had here happened to be I think one of the few existing ones left that was actually in one piece as it were so yeah, I'll, I'll, what I'd have to do is maybe Google and add a little bit of text or something to give a few more details. But I do believe it was some sort of museum in Germany, or at the very least in Europe. So they took one of these submarines and it's now in a museum, I do believe. Lots of, I'm guessing, must be sort of I don't know if this is like driftwood or just random wood that was like left behind from when the scrapyard was torn down. It looks like just over there that was the original gate in for when the um, site was a scrapyard. Some random containers there. Now I do believe this particular area here was the old Greyhound Stadium. I was looking just over in that direction there. I do believe that's where, roughly where the entrance was, I think. Or well, at least I think it was over in that direction. And I've noticed obviously the concrete going round sort of that way. It's very overgrown but you can see some of it of where the I think the track might have been. I am going to be very respectful of the swan and stay over here. I do believe just over there, I don't know how well you can see, I think it's mate might be asleep over there in a nest, so it's like, now we don't want to be messing with our swans. Right, I think I'm going to come out of the site now because I don't want to, I don't want to risk getting into trouble or anything like that because it's like as I said I don't know how 
legal it is for me to be on the site and the last thing I want is like to get into trouble or let someone call the police on me so we shall start heading back but as a sort of closing thing I'm I'm not gonna say like oh don't come and onto sites like this because like legalities you'll get into trouble because first of all I know you lot will probably just go and do it anyway and secondly I'd probably seem a bit hypocritical because I've been a bit cheeky and snuck onto some land myself that I may not necessarily be technically allowed on <laughs> so but I would say if you're gonna do it please be incredibly safe don't be like me and come and do this on your own preferably bring someone with you I'm, I'm just very stupid it's like I thought I know I'm gonna go and walk on some wasteland on my own <laughs> normally I probably wouldn't do this or at least I wouldn't do it on on my own on land like this but as I said at the beginning this was more very more of a very impromptu thing and I thought you know what I'm gonna take a quick cheeky walk around and have a look and see what's going on well it's been quite interesting because I saw a fox running across the land when I was over behind that big mound there looking at the um grey old greyhound stadium site and I saw some kind of hawk go to fly over when I was walking around sort of in between filming which was quite interesting so yeah I think there is a lot of wildlife that have moved into this site for now like various birds and whatnot there's probably things like hedgehogs and the like running around as well so I saw a fox so I wouldn't be surprised if there's like sort of badgers and hedgehogs and the likes as well in living in all of this lot probably because it's safer so but anyway I'm gonna sign off and get off this land pretty quick before I either get dobbed in or in, it's generally into trouble <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video.